It's only Joachim's car, it's not mine. He can have a couple of extra holes in there. Okay, that's it. We got two holes in your center bearing. In his center bearing, Thank not you. mine. You know, it's just an interim solution. What are you talking about? That's the next 10 years is gonna stay like this. It's Joachim's car. So now you gotta get your finger in to hold the mechatronic unit up. Uh, I'm stuck in with yeah. my fingers. You gotta get your finger out. Now Christian is checking where the water is going. Oh. So we got now both balls lubricated. Oh my Did God. I say that correctly? <laughs> Hi, I'm Christian. And I'm Vera. And in this episode, we're gonna fix driveline vibration issues on Joachim's Land Rover Discovery 3. And trust me, this is not gonna be your regular 17 millimeter spanner Toyota repair. Hope you enjoy the video. So we're taking off the heat shield. So. Ah, oh, disintegrated. He's got <laughs> vibrations in the drive line and we want to find out if this is causing the vibration he feels or if it maybe is a problem with the torque converter or something else so the first thing is to investigate this thing and for that we're going to mount the camera right here huh? i'm still shocked he's gonna do are you that. filming yes this camera i'm a youtuber ah. i know when to hit the start button there is no threat in here so apparently on my car there was a threat in that hole and on Joachim's car there is no threat. Well, I don't know if there was a threat in yours, but when I was done there was one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Christian's gonna cut a threat in there. Yeah, that's what people Just do. Just to mount the camera. If, if, if some oil is coming out, it's too deep. <laughs> this is an adapter where you can mount regular tabs onto a 3 8 ratchet. I got that for all tab sizes. Cool. What a nice tool and it even got an o-ring in it so it doesn't fall out. And it's something we use once okay. every 10 years. This is, I think, good enough. Now we're gonna aim this at our object here. No. Shift it to the front the screen. The object of desire is a prop shaft. It doesn't get lost. There. See? Oh, this is looking beautiful. It now looks like a dumb this, idea. It looks only like a dumb idea if we lose it. <laughs> wireless LAN and here I can look at my camera connect so we got the camera attached we can see the picture here I can start it here with 200 frames per second and stop it now we're gonna lower the car and we gotta get on the road and drive it they are going on a test drive now to see if the vibration of the prop shaft correlates to the RPM raise and drop he has on occasion well, actually, he has the RPM changes quite often. Yes, I can see it here. See? So now I gotta hold my phone down here, otherwise, it loses the wireless LAN connection. And we're gonna look for this shuddering. <laughs> shafts and air bearing bouncing around and it corresponds to the vibration in the vehicle. Yeah. The question is now, does the drive shaft excite this vibration or is something else exciting this vibration? Look at that, I got a letter out of Brazil. Nobody gets a letter out of Brazil. How cool is that? Now they are back. That's your Adi. And there's Rainer. This is new LR4. <laughs> <laughs> he stole it into my car. <laughs> so Christian's gonna drill a hole into his main oh, bearing. Right now my drill is just wandering. Why didn't you put a punch? I'm gonna cut it all out of the video, that's why. So we're gonna drill a hole here. And let's just drill one here, just for the heck of it. It's only Joachim's car, it's not mine. He can have a couple of extra holes in there. 
Let's see if this screw works. See? So now I need a bigger drill. My drill is battery assist. My car is singing. <laughs> okay, that's it. We got two holes in your center bearing. In his center bearing, Thank not you. mine. Ah, that's not my dog. Is there? So I'm not sure what he wants to do there. I want to keep the drive shaft from bouncing around and that's it. It's an anti-drive shaft bounce what we install. Oh my God. This is my construction, two holes and a tie wrap. Oh Hold God. down the center bearing and you see it's tight now. So this is the trail repair <laughs> for the center bearing problem. Now we're gonna do the same test drive again yeah. and see if this problem is gone. You know, it's just an interim solution. What are you talking about? That's the next 10 years is going to stay like this. It's Joachim's car. I yeah. love steel tie wraps. Yeah, we'll put a steel tie wrap around it for him and that's it. That's all he gets. Let me simulate this. Mm -hmm. Very well. So let's go on a test drive. Up and down, up and down. You know, it's in giraffe mode once it's down from the two post lift. So they're going on another test drive to see if Christian Chibes tie wrap solution will save the day again. So we're ready. What is the moment? When the hook is there. Yeah, the Gelenkwelle hook is not Okay, well, it got to have something to do with the transmission, the torque converter, and maybe the lockup clutch in the torque converter. So I'm not supposed to clear the adaptation values of a gearbox without changing the oil. But because it's Joachim's car, I don't really give a damn, so I just clear them right here. See, I hit this button, yes. Clear adaptation values, and it may be broken now, but we'll find out. So <laughs> let's go on a test drive again and see if you feel a difference. Okay? You feel a difference. <laughs> so they are going on another test drive. I actually have to look if there's a car coming. So what we're checking right now is if the torque converter lockup clutch is causing this issue. So we check if the rattling occurs if it says here locked. But it doesn't. It's always in regulated mode which means the clutch is open, but we do have the shuttering. Right now the car shudders and it's hunting for speed. And it's clearly in regulated mode and not locked up. Battery disconnect. Okay, and that's, I think, all we need to do up here. Everything else is below the car. So we're gonna try to do a transmission repair on this baby on a Sunday afternoon. Hopefully that's not a completely stupid idea. You got a two post lift outside. You can use your power washer under the two post lift. Yeah. Oh, this sucks. So we got all bolts out. This is gonna be a real big mess for sure. Mm -hmm. That's nice. You know that. The question is now, how do we get this out? I'm just doing a little recap on what we are doing because now it's just about an hour later from when we last filmed. And we have not made any progress. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then we have to open that screw. Oh my god. We just can't get the oil pan out. So we're taking the cross member out. So they took the tank down. His tank cover looks better than mine. So we got this Mechatronic unit out. The Mechatronic unit is below the oil cover. And most people replace the plastic cover with the metal cover from Britpart. Because they can't get it out because of this little extension there in the back. 
smart as we are here, we are right now three Germans, so we gotta be as smart as one Chinese at least, we took the oil pan together with the Mechatronic unit out. And that worked. We have to see that we get this back together so Joachim can drive home. It's a pretty big misery what we got. And I can't test this unit here with air pressure. There is a way to do that, but I'm not familiar with it. And before I ruin something, we'll leave it alone. This is the potential source of the problem, what you got, okay? And you can see how, you can see how the slip here is rolled in and how this one is still nice and straight. And I'll see how far, far this rubber protrudes out and this one not. So same here, the lip is falling in. See this? It can only go this way. Yeah, and it would fit. Okay. And I'm supposed to be able to pull these rubbers out here. One. I don't want to scratch the aluminum. Two. Three. There it is. Fourth one. Okay, so now we stick in new ones. So we put some oil on these. We put them back in. Okay, we're all. This is an all men video. There it's in. And see how they protrude out. And the last one. There. And we're ready to put this baby back together. This is the magnet here, see? And I think this is a good sign. You have no chips in here. So, three hours later. So, we had to drill out one tap hole. Oh, 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 oh. That is repaired. Good. <laughs> there was one bolt broken off. And we had to drill and tap a new one. There's oil everywhere and we have to watch it because we step here in oil and then walk on our driveway. It's going to be all oily. Oh my God. So we finally cleaned up the mess. He finally fixed the broken bolt. And, and now we move on into the right direction, right? Um, until we move into the wrong direction, <laughs> we will move in the right direction. <laughs> what? The next 45 minutes when we put this back in, don't stop the camera. Oh my god. This is your safety bolt. Okay, what? you are responsible for it. I give mine to Vera. No. You you take them. Because Joachim and I got to fumble this now back up in there in the same exact order <sighs> as we got it out. We got the new seal in here. See, this is the magic seal which was broken. It was broken. It looked broken. It looked kind of worn Oh, it out. looked broken. It looked, uh, it looked pretty worn out. We lift this up now. Including already with the oil pan. To help you this, the power. this goes off. Hang on. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. And this got to go first <laughs> with this side back up in there. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No. Oh my God. <laughs> so now you got to get your finger in to hold the Mechatronic unit up. There are two dowel pins. Gotta get this thing out of the way, carefully. Yeah, I'm stuck in with yeah, my fingers. You gotta get your finger out. Achtung! So. Das hat's gut angefühlt gerade. Sind wir gerade richtig? Ja. So it's in, it was a great debacle. It was, it's got some I would news. say, the biggest debacle ever. There's Einer has two. And the screws are so damn accurate, if they would be out of position by a tense, they wouldn't <sighs> go in. Oh boy. Just in case anybody's interested, we are torquing the bolts for the Mechatronic unit. Yeah. It's nine newton meters. Uh, the unit is in. I couldn't well, film everything nice because there was too much stress and too many people so around. So there was hardly any room for me. And it's yeah, if you guys want to do something like that, you yeah. better do your research and yeah. not use our video as a guide. 
Yeah, okay. yeah, we talk it to 10 newton meters. You better yeah, mark oh. the screws or bolts which you already torque. So you have a torque sequence when you buy your ZF unit. Rechts neben der ein. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The four is. It's only for the video. I cut out when we do it wrong. Now next one. <laughs> Six. Rechts neben der zwei. Okay, got it. We got a reader, a marker, and a torque. Yes, yes, yes. See, that's that was so the we are reader. The RMT team. I'm the torque, <laughs> and then there is the marker coming. He's usually not paying attention. Yeah. One of those legs. We just push it off the seat. <laughs> That is actually one of the more stressful repairs we have done. And Christian is considering in buying a LR4, which has issues in first gear. We lower whoa, the cross member. Okay. Oh my God, look at that bolt. Here, Holy what you crap. do with these bolts is you cover them entirely. They don't, there's no thread, Christian. That bolt is useless. That bolt is perfect. Because we might have to open it again if we lower the car and the gears won't check. Yeah. Everything is full of oil and copper oh grease. Oh my god. Um. Oh my god. I don't want to do stuff like that. Okay, now we're going to lower the tank again. Watch it. Oh my god. So now we can get to this bolt here. To be able to reach that bolt. Oh. <laughs> that still has to be filled with oil. So the worst part is still gonna come. That was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the camera was, was right. <laughs> <laughs> there is some clonking noise underneath my car ever since you touched it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then the heat shield. Okay. Yes. So, putting up the heat shield is always a puzzle. Kind of. So, we forgot a cable to clip in. Thank God I bought that long knipex yeah, once. So now, Christian's gonna pump for the next two hours. Because we have how many bottles, Christian? I don't know until it zips out. And then we gotta run it and shift all gears. I'm not gonna do that. In the filling procedure, you have to uh, engage gears. Joachim is all the way over up there, and Christian's gonna give commandos what to do. Okay. So start the engine. So Christian needs to wear the helmet. The thread fits our pump, you know, of the set of um, oil bottle. So, next bottle is empty. Joachim, start. So, that's bottle number six now. Oh my god. So finally, the last bottle, it's enough. Christian was already worried that we don't have enough. Well, we have 300 milliliters left, so it is kind of a, a close call. <laughs> oh my God, the gears are not changing. Look at that, that oh, is... But he's uh, pulling all gears through, and I'm so happy that they are... Ah! Oh my god! Well, before you put it into rear, you have to stop. Oh my god! Transmission oil temperature is 29 degrees, which is good. It's not supposed to exceed 50 degrees in that, during that procedure. So they have to wait until it's 30 degrees and then open the fill plug 
That was a long day, which started at nine o'clock. Yes. <laughs> Take care, Joachim. Yeah, look who's back. It's a good sign that it's still running. Yes. Does it have gear? Yes. <laughs> All of them. Slight butter. It's so great. It has six of them and one in reverse. Uh, yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yeah, that was a big, big job. And you did all your homework and you went through this teaching cycle after we deleted adaptation values. Did yes. it get better afterwards? Much better. And now the uh, shuddering is no, gone? No shuddering anymore. It's very good. Unbelievable. <laughs> Perfect. So we can knock this off our list. <laughs> It's yes. done. <laughs> and what did we learn out of this? Never ever touch a 6 HP again. That's the lesson I learned. <laughs> the next one we do, we do with a steel oil pan, okay? So yeah, that yeah. would be a lot easier. The steel oil pan is also significantly more money. Some people say the steel oil pan has heat dissipation problems compared to the original ZF oil pan. Whatever that means. Um, I wonder, do we want to do a quick test drive and see what else we find? Oh my God. So I'm going to join them on a test drive. Look at that. He has also pictures. <laughs> it can take up to one diesel tank filling until the transmission has recreated the entire adaptation. Joachim says it's bouncing sometimes when it shifts into first when he's standing uphill. Uh, let's just tell him it's all normal. <laughs> Vera gave me all her envelopes she's sending all over the world now. We're gonna take them to a mailbox. They don't fit in at once. Very well. I think this is pretty much it for our little video this week. I know this was not a complete step-by-step -step instruction. The reason is, trust me, you don't want to duplicate what we did. This technique of lifting the Mechatronic unit out together with the pan is not a good idea. It was sort of a last resort. It was definitely difficult. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing and in any case, don't unsubscribe. And we'll thank our Patreons for their continuous support. Joachim is a Patreon. Yes. Yes, Joachim is <laughs> <Yes>. a Patreon. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, so we want to thank our Patreons for their continuous support. Without them, these videos would not be possible every week. And we'll see you next Sunday. There you go. So I can't be in front of the camera. Oh, look at that. Do you see the paragliders? It's a famous spot over there. I love seeing them. We're gonna call this video not your typical Toyota with here. <laughs> or we're gonna call it Don't Try This at Home. Don't try this on your own car. <laughs> <laughs> Not for Toyota nerves. Toyota drivers suicide risk. Look at the fall colors. Oh my god. So do you think the water is coming from the front or the rear? We don't know. So I don't know how we always end up with those experiments. <laughs> and no. then Christian takes the entire know. car apart. So I'm waiting for the water. Yes! Yes! Da kommt, da, hier Christian. Da, da kommt, ich hab's gesehen. And Christian takes the car apart. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> oh! <laughs> No clip broken, see? Now you have a better view. Okay. Now Christian is checking where the water is going. <laughs> but I don't know where this is getting in. I see it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Now is he's pouring in over the door again? No. <laughs> okay. Look at that, what Christian built. Okay, we got our camera here. 
<laughs> and we got like a little spray nozzle. Do it again. Lubrication <laughs> out. Yeah. And we want to get lubrication onto the turbo actuator because, you know, we think the turbo actuator is stuck sometimes. Yes, and thank God that's a LR3 and only has one turbo. I would have to get closer. Here you are. There, that's the first ball. Yes. We're going to get this one all wet now. Look at that. Yes. This is, look how it's it running sucks around. in. Land Rover would have taken the body off for that. Okay, now we're going to dive in deeper. Um, this was actually Joachim's idea, okay? You can see that he's a paramedic. He knows yeah. about getting, you know, stuff into crevasses and get it back out. This is the turbo actuator rod. And here on this end, I can't get the camera closer. You can see the receiver. This is like this ball where the actuator rod is inserted. Now look at our yeah. setup. See how it sprays right into that ball? I hope so. See right there? Not I hope so. This is like trenched in oil. So we got now both balls lubricated. Oh my Did God. I say that correctly? <laughs> Okay, here again our setup, yeah, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this, this is our ball lubricator, okay? The hose is from an air conditioning cleaner bottle. So when I spray here, it sprays in all directions, okay? To lubricate all balls. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta close this thing back up here. We took this heat shield off. Yes, and yeah. I need to... And, and then we're gonna let Joachim drive home and hopefully his car is not gonna catch on fire because the balls are lubricated. <laughs>